Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha from realfluencynow.com. And if you want to become fluent in English, I can help you. I'm a native speaker of English, and I know the challenges you have with speaking English confidently. Now, first, I want to tell you a story. One day, shortly after I first started teaching online, I was talking to a guy from Japan who was living and working in California. His English was really good, and I thought, what does he need me for? How can I help him? He told me that when he was at work and talking with his co-workers, that he had no problem understanding them or talking to them. But then he told me that when he heard his co-workers talking to each other, that he couldn't hardly understand anything they were saying. He said sometimes he couldn't even tell if they were joking or they were being serious. And I've never forgotten about him and his struggles communicating with native speakers. Probably they were using a lot of slang, phrasal verbs, and idioms that he hadn't learned yet. And maybe they were making references to cultural things that he wasn't familiar with yet, like TV shows and movies. So he couldn't hardly understand them at all. When native speakers are talking to someone whose native language isn't English, we tend to talk a little differently. We talk a little slower, a little more clearly, and we use English that is also a little more simple so that you can understand us better like I am now, which is why he was able to understand his coworkers when they were talking to him about work. But the thing is, if that's the only English you can understand, English that is unnaturally slow and clear, then eventually you will have problems, especially if you are talking to a group of native speakers. Even more so if you are working with native speakers at an American company. Now let's talk about water cooler conversations. Water coolers are big coolers of cold water that many workplaces have, or at least used to have, so that when the people work there take a break, they can have something to drink. Sometimes people just stand around the water coolers and talk. These are called water cooler conversations. Other short conversations about things that are not about work are also called water cooler conversations, even though they may not happen near the water cooler. They may just happen when you are passing by someone in a hallway. These conversations are very informal. They're usually about personal things like hobbies, the weather, people's families. They may seem like a waste of time, but actually they help businesses because they are a way for workers to know each other better and then work together better because they understand and trust each other more. This was the kind of conversation the English learner from Japan was hearing and couldn't understand. Water cooler conversations are one good reason to learn slang and other informal English so that you can fit in better at your job. But even if you are learning English for fun and not working with native speakers, you still need to learn this kind of English because it will help you to understand TV shows and movies in English. It will help you to meet native speakers and talk just for fun because you both enjoy talking to each other. You can have conversations as equals not just as someone they are talking to just to be polite. This is what I like to teach, real English, 
English used in everyday casual conversations in real life, not in a textbook. Learning real English is the only way you are ever going to reach real fluency in English and be able to have real, authentic conversations with native speakers. Now, if you want to learn more complex English used in formal work situations, I can help with that too. I have a biochemistry degree and worked at a big biotech company for a while. But chances are you already know more formal English. If you want to learn real English from me, I'll give you a link at the end of this video to help you get started. There you will find an English placement test that you can take so that I will know your English level and how I can best help you. And you will also find some free sample lessons from my English courses. And there's also links to all my other social media accounts if you would like to follow me someplace else. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I always end them saying, remember, with hope, anything is possible. And that's true, but you also need courage to take the first step. I'd like for you to take that first step today and click here and get started on your path to real fluency. I hope to hear from you soon. Goodbye, and remember, with hope and courage, anything is possible.